Good morning, SM. Welcome back to another episode of Eagle TV. Today we have entertainment with Brody, sports with Eric, and a segment I trust you'll love. What's up, SM? I'm Baron Stamer. And I'm Abby Shaw. Baron, do you have any plans for this three-day weekend? Not yet. I do want to watch some fantasy football, and I want to go to a concert with my friends, especially with the new music being released this year. Me too. Speaking of music, did you watch the VMAs? Uh, no, I didn't, but Brody's here to fill us. Brody's here in the studio to fill us in on what happened. Take it away, Brody. <laughs> what is up, SM? My name is Brody Sajna. Let's take a look at what's going on in the world of entertainment. In just a few weeks, in our own neighborhood, Ohana Fest is taking place at Doheny Beach from September 29th to October 1st. This weekend-long music festival will include three nights packed with astounding artists, and as, as the festival begins on Friday, it features headlining artists such as Haim, The Killers, and on Saturday night, the headliner, uh, Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder is the singer of the band Pearl Jam and the founder of the festival, and he plays every year. On Sunday night, the weekend comes to a close with vari various artists including Suki Waterhouse, The Backseat Lovers, and its headliner, The Foo Fighters, with also The Pretenders. This surely won't be a show to miss, so be sure to check out Ohana Fest this year. Now that we've got some local music entertainment news, let's take a look at the big screen music news. The MTV Music Video Awards took place last night, and the and it was packed with performances by Olivia Rodrigo, Demi Lovato, and more. The awards portion of the night was surely one to remember because Taylor Swift won nine awards, such as Video of the Year for Visual Effects, Best Pop Video, Cinematography, Direction, Best Song, Artist, and the list goes on. I hope you've enjoyed this week's entertainment report. My name is Brody Sazno. Let's send it back to Baron and Abby. Thanks for catching up us up, Brody. There's always something interesting going on in the world of music. You know what I always thought was an interesting song? Take me out to the ball game. Because why are we singing it for already at the game? You know, I've never thought about that. But you know what else is here? S Eric, to give us more information on sports. Let's send it over to Eric for a sports update. Hey Eagles, welcome to another sports report as we will cover the opening kickoff game of the 2023 NFL season, which featured the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. In the first quarter, the Lions had dominated the game so far with an electrifying 91-yard drive which ended with a Jared Goff passing touchdown to Amon Ross St. Brown. While heading into the second quarter, the momentum of the game flipped to the Chiefs' side as they scored 14 unanswered points highlighted by a four-yard touchdown reception to tight end Blake Bell to give the Chiefs a 14-7 lead at the half. Five minutes into the second half of play, quarterback Patrick Mahomes threw a perfect pass to wide receiver Kadarius Toney which went right through his hands and resulted in a pick six touchdown for safety Brian Branch and the Detroit Lions. In the third quarter, the Chiefs won a 73-yard drive, which gave them the lead 17-14. On a similar note, to begin the fourth quarter, the Chiefs put together another great drive, which set up their kicker Harrison Bucker to knock down his second field goal of the day. Five minutes later, the Lions began to regain momentum and scored a touchdown with seven minutes left to regain their lead. The Lions went on, a, went on to win the game with that touchdown 21-20 and give the reigning Super Bowl champions an opening day loss. That is all I have for you today, sending it back to Baron and Abby. Thanks Eric, I had a ball listening to that update. Good one Baron. I love a friend who can tell a good joke. Well, who doesn't? And I always like a friend I can always trust. Well trust me when I say you'll love this next segment. Let's roll it. Hey Eagles, I'm Hannah Casanover, and today I'm going to see how much I can trust my fellow Santa Margarita students. Trust fall. <laughs> 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 fall. <laughs> trust fall. Trust fall. Oh. Trust fall. Oh. <laughs> well, Eagles, looks like I can't trust you guys after all. Stay fierce. Right? I always like to end on a high note. Agreed. Thanks for watching, SM. I'm Baron Stamer. And I'm Abby Schaff. Have a wonderful Wednesday, SM.